I know. I know. So over the past few months, I guess two months, March into April, I have been working on a video installation project. I was chosen through a student program to have my artwork displayed on the tallest marquee in New England. And I've double checked that fact. Thank you very much. It is 80 feet tall. There are seven screens, two with moving pictures and two with stills. Four with, wait, one, two, three, five screens, five, sc five screens, three with moving pictures, two still. And as soon as my professor told me about this, I was like, I'm in, I'm going to do everything I can in my powers to get it cross my fingers this would be so cool period little background information i went to a small college that had about 10 people in the art program so it was the same 10 people again sir oh my lanta okay it was the same 10 people the art professors knew you by name it was great i loved it but I didn't get a traditional art school experience. I took a few classes that were required for the major, but yeah. But after that, I kind of fell off the page of art. I was a teacher first and an artist second. And it wasn't until I went back to grad school for art education and took not an art education class, but an art course that I started feeling like myself again. I started making artwork that made me feel confident about myself, that made me feel good. I started making artwork where I was excited again and I was excited to make art and that's just the best feeling in the world. My professor suggested this project and as soon as I heard it, I said, boom, I'm gonna get it. Because one of my goals in life was to paint something big. I thought it was gonna be like an eight by 10 canvas. I wanted to recreate one of Picasso's paintings to scale. And then this came up. And I got accepted with like 10 other candidates. <laughs> to have my artwork displayed on an 80 foot tall screen in the middle of Boston. <laughs> I dare you to tell me that's not one of the coolest things I've ever done. Also, great, great first public display of art. Like I've never had my art displayed in public beyond the college art show. This was the first time my art has gotten picked by a committee of people to be put in a gallery. So oh, I am so excited. It's so cool. Now let's talk a little bit more about the art piece itself. It is a series of four paintings, all based off of the same reference image of the lake I grew up on for my life. I learned how to swim in it. I learned how, well, yeah, I learned how to swim in it. I had some of the best times in that lake and I still do. It's the place that's nearest and dearest to my heart and I wonder why I picked it. Who knows? Question mark. So I picked a series of this landscape, based it off a photograph my brother took, and made four paintings out of acrylic gouache, colored pencil, and paint pens. Um, I then took 
the series of those four paintings, edited them into four quadrants to transition in between. So since they were all based on the same subject and I tried my best to line up the pieces, there's some similarities between them, but it's off. So there's one painting here, 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 and here, and you see different corners of the paintings as they transition. It'll make more sense once you see it. And then on the long, there's a long skinny TV in the middle, and I had a paintbrush slowly dragging down for the entirety of the 30 seconds. And I green screened in a little, whoosh, I like my palette that I used. So you could see the colors and it tied all the pieces together. And then on the bottom two still screens, I had overhead shots of my desk as I was working through the pieces. So it started off with a blank one, then a middle progress, and then an end progress. And I pulled a very Wes Anderson vibe of like, beep, 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 you know, the, the neatness of it all, the very preciseness. And I have not been this focused on a project in such a long time. So it felt really good to get back in the groove and kind of see myself as an artist again. I'm watching a video so I can time it up with the pieces, but I forgot what it was like to kind of do art outside of your comfort zone. And I really wanted to push myself with these pieces because it was going to be displayed 80 feet tall. People were going to see it. And I realized putting that pressure on myself took away from the essence of my art, which is to have fun and to make something that makes me happy. So once I reframed into that mindset, I went from like sad, dull colors and all of a sudden these new fun colors that I was like worried about contrast and worried about, I was overthinking. Moral of the story, I was overthinking and that is not good for me. My artwork, not as good when I overthink. And once I started having fun, I started making pieces that I enjoyed and pieces that I liked and pieces that were fun. And that's how I ended up with the four pieces used in this shot. Now you also saw that I did some needle felting back there and that's where you take like a, a needle that has some things on it and it you poke it and it, it sticks it, it knots it together and makes a shape. And I took those shapes, those clouds, and had them drift across the sky. And I video edited them to go across, so... Yeah, you'll see. It's very cool. It was a very mixed media experience because I had the paint, I had the photography, I had photo editing, I had needle felting. It was a very me project. And I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. Yeah? Very artist, uh, this thing. No, it's on the screen. Because I didn't have such the other way. talking for a while but this piece means so much to me it's about a place I love a place I adore I made this with the intention in my mind that this is supposed to be fun and it was and also it's 80 freaking feet tall in the middle of Boston what more could I ask for from a first public show anyway bye